guys, welcome back to the advanced group. To get things started this week, we're going to be working on teaching our dog distance tricks. So learning how to do any trick that we want from a distance. And for the advanced level, we're looking for three different tricks at 10 feet away. So we're going to use Loki to help us with that. And I would say the most important part of learning how to do distance in the beginning um, is having a good strong mark or target area. So for Loki we've grabbed a little stool for him to go on and um, and I always find a little bit a slightly elevated mark does help a dog too because they're less apt to jump off of it. So what we're going to do is start at a very very short distance right up on the mark um, and then we're just going to add steps one set one step at a time and if at any point he breaks it, I'm going to run him right back up and we'll regress with the distance a little bit. Now you'll notice with Loki we are practicing off leash because he is familiar with doing distance work. But if you have a bouncy dog, this is a brand new trick for them. Um, I would greatly suggest using a leash in the beginning because it'll help you control that jump a little bit and you can get back to him faster to get them on the mark. Um, so we're, with that we're going to get started. Let me break up a couple treats because in the learning phase you can always um, use treats but keep in mind when you actually um, do your advanced test they can't have any food food or treat lures um, or toys for that matter so we can show him at this point and then we're going to be backing these off so what I'm going to do with Loki when we stand up here is I'm going to go <laughs> well I was going to lure him straight up to the mark so let's go right up right up to the mark, I'm about two feet away, sit. And I'm asking him from two feet away. So right now I can reach him, but in the future you won't be able to, so you're gonna wanna run up and try and give him the treat always on the mark. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is back off a little bit of distance. So once he gets sit at two feet away, then I'm gonna back it off and I'm gonna go sit. Good job! Now he's very good at going to your mark, so you can always ask for go to your mark if you want. But I'm going to back it off a little bit more each time. So we're going to come on off. Go to your mark. Sit. Good sit. Good job. And that's about six feet away, what we're doing. And then we're going to do one more. So we're going to come on over here. Good boy. Go to your mark. Sit. Good sit. And I'll run back and give him the treat. Good job. Now, obviously, as they're learning, there's going to be a bracket somewhere in here that is too far for them. So you might get to, I don't know, four feet, five feet, and they want to bounce off and come next to you as soon as you ask for whatever command you're, you're wanting to do. So if that happens, then you're going to regress a step or two with them. So if I'm, you know, my dog's breaking at five feet, I might come up three feet, ask it a little bit shorter build it up, little baby steps at a time again, and work a little bit longer on that distance. So it's just going to take time to get over the hump. Every dog has a different distance that's a little bit too far for them. So next we need to find a couple other tricks that we want to do. So once we have that sit, I'll start from the beginning again, and I'll ask for a new, new command. So my next one might be lay down. So I would to teach him to go to his mark again. Go to your mark. Sit down. Good down. And down's a very difficult one because if you have a signal, like my signal is point down to the floor, they're very apt to want to come towards you. So that's a difficult one to start with sometimes. Um, but you can pick any three that you want. So we're going to back off the distance with Loki on down. We're gonna come over here. Good boy, this is about uh, six or seven feet away. Go to your mark, sit down, good down. And I always try and come towards him and give him the treat there, okay? And then we need to add one more. So once we've added our second trick, same thing. You start at a very short range. I'm gonna start right with him. Down, cover, good cover. It's hard to see from the angle that you guys are at, but I'm asking him to cover his eyes, okay? And I do that very close, and then I would lure him off again, increase the distance, go to your mark, down, cover, oh, get a good cover, 
good boy. <laughs> and so on and so forth until I can back it, back it off and then start asking them together. So our end result is going to be that we're about this distance away. We can ask them for our three commands and that we can do it without the food lure. So right now, if you notice in camera, I do have the treat in my hand, but eventually what we need to do is just keep those treats hidden away, pull them out at the very end, or toys if you're using. So we're gonna try that last part so you can see the whole succession. So we're gonna, come on off, Lucky. Good boy, good boy, we're getting a little excited. We don't have any cookies, so we need to get them bouncy, yay! <laughs> yay, 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 good boy! You ready? All right, so we're go to your mark, sit, lay down, cover. Yay, good job, very good job. All right, so there's our three tricks. So I want you to pick your three tricks and start working on those this week. And if you have any questions, obviously add them to the group page because it does take time to get really good with distance. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a wide variety of different kind of tricks that you might want to do. So start with your strengths, start with ones that they're really good at. And then if you want, definitely throw a little curveball in there. That makes it a little bit more fun. So I will see you guys on the next trick. Have fun with doing distance work.